Hello, everybody. Last episode, we ended up here in the festival ground area of the Market Square. This is where it all began. And uh, we found a way to get across this crevice last episode. So uh, that's where we are right now. We uh, crossed here and we have made our way up to the square. So we're just going to explore the area around here and uh, see what we can find. What's this? Judging by the size of the blood stain, the body of something truly enormous was dragged over these stones. Terendalev, most likely. Oh. Okay, well, let's follow the blood. Oh! Um, we need to get everybody over here. Buddy, don't go running off like that. Could be dangerous, you know, around here. Crazy dog. Count Arinde's servant. Thank the gods! I found someone who isn't fleeing in a panic. Are you crusaders or mercenaries? I'm a servant of Count Darren Kale Nevis Arinde. My lord's mansion's under attack by demons. Uh, the master himself and all his servants are trapped. The house guards are nowhere to be found. I managed to escape through a servant's passage to look for help. Will you help me, please? The mansion's only a stone's throw away. Oh, calm down. Hmm, Count Arende. I have seen him a few times before. Uh, from afar, of course. I confess that he did capture my attention. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. We should help him. The gratitude of a rich and influential man can only benefit us. That was the last thing on my mind, dear. Well, can you tell me more about what's going on? Oh, well, I'll tell you what I can. I was working from uh, dusk to dawn, serving guests, and when the other servants came to relieve me, I, I went to sleep. The next thing I know, um, I wake up and there's demons. I couldn't even reach the count. The monsters are all blocking the way. The banquet's still going on, I think. And, and the guests are all there in the hall, as far as I could tell. Uh, the demons haven't been able to get into their room yet. Oh, please hurry. The doors are sturdily built, but the demons are going to get in there eventually. Please come and rescue everybody. Okay, I'll help. Where's this house? It's not far from here. He's going to have to wait just a little bit because, you know, I, I don't even know where we are. Let's, uh, let's see. Um, let's go up here. I haven't looked on this side. Let's see what's over here. Huh? Oh, alcohol. That's going to come in handy after a day like today. <laughs> oh, the Temple of Desna. Hear me, take heed. The hordes of the abyss march on Canabras. The wardstone's their target. They must not be allowed to capture it. Well, we already know that. I wonder if that was one of those aeons. Uh, at the end of last episode, I, I picked a part of one up. Or it was absorbed into me or whatnot. That's interesting, to say the least. Well... Let's save and go in this temple. Hello, anybody home? Oh. 
fanfare of the faithful. Oh, it looks like a pamphlet talking about different crusaders, orders of the lance, sunrise sword. It's for a parade. Maybe that was for the festival that was going on. Okay, we'll take it. There's nobody here. I don't see any trap doors or hidden things. An altar of Desna, goddess of luck, patron deity of travelers and dreamers. Okay, well, find anything interesting. What are we fighting? A cultist. Three cultists. Okay, this guy's a caster. So, let move over this way. You still can't get him. All right, Sila, you're gonna have to come around, dear. I need to get her a haste. Maybe I'll, I'll look at her scrolls and see if we've got one. Because that will come in handy. I don't know why she's so slow. She can hardly move. I, it must be her heavy armor. Okay, we should be able to get everybody now. Going after Ember? I don't think so, dude. Some acid to the face. Better yet, how about some fire? Oh, I don't want to get Lawn and Sila though, so that's not gonna work. How about a scream? Can I get rid of this? Invoker. There we go. You guys, you're not very good with your bows today. squishy. Put a curse on you. Good enough. You've got to get the green. There we go. All right, but it looks like everybody's fatigued, which means they're not going to fight very well. So let's go ahead and camp. Now this is going to be the first time we've camped here. 
out here in the open, so... We're going to take a look at the cooking, because I know I got a recipe. So, let's see. Uh, we have... Spicy pastry, which will give us plus movement speed for a day. Or a hearty meal, which will give us... Uh, bonus plus one for our skill checks. You know what? Let's go with the spicy because the the speed I think is important especially for Sila. So let's try that. I don't know how I lived without beer up till now. Beer alone was worth coming up to the surface for. <laughs> and you still haven't tried good wine. Nice. Sometimes, a long-awaited rest does not bring the desired relief. What comes is a heavy, clinging sleep on the edge of wakefulness, where consciousness seemed poised between reality and oblivion. The possible reasons for such disturbed slumber are myriad, strained nerves, perhaps, or a lingering reaction to trauma? Lacey emerges from the oblivion of her sleep like a drowned woman dragging herself up from the depths of a swamp. The wound on her chest is burning like someone pressed an invisible brand to it. The wound has closed again, but the blood stain on her shirt betrays its presence beneath. There's no time to investigate the cause right now. A trying day lies ahead, but how will Lacey be up to the challenge if her thoughts are so muddled and her entire body aches like after a day's toil? Okay, well, we're just going to ignore it. Going to put some cold water on myself. It would be good as new. As if a veteran adventurer could be frightened by a bad dream. A splash of cold water enlivens her senses and the weariness abates. Lacey recalls that she slept peacefully in the Defender's heart. Perhaps a priest can explain what happened. It's possible that disturbed dreams is the body's reaction to corruption. You know what? I wondered what that was. That bar that's at the bottom when you uh, rest. It says abys abyssal uh, corruption. It says that nightmares and corruption prevent you from resting well. Corruption increases during rest at different rates in different areas. Okay, when your corruption reaches first, second, or third level, negative effects are applied. The higher the level, the more difficult it becomes to fight. That explains that. Alright, let's check and make sure there's anything else over here that we missed. Yep, that's the end. There's a dead body, but there's nothing there. I see some blood, it's like something's been dragged. Uh oh. Oh! A babal. Is, is it only you? I think so. Alright, Ember. You're not gonna be able to scare it. Can you maybe put it to sleep? I don't think we've fought one of these before. Okay, resistant to acid, fire, and cold. So, let's try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's 
Medizine. Let's see. Well, none of that's gonna help, so we're just gonna get with our bow. I'm not going to be using one because I'm not melee. All right, that's it for that area. So let's go back over here. Oh, we picked him up. We did. Oh, summons a pet cat. Oh, that's awesome. We'll have to figure that out later. I don't know how to use that right now. These people are not killed by demons, by ordinary weapons. Up oh, and looky there. Okay then. Okay, let's go after this one. I guess we're moving a little quicker. Uh go. There's one more. Oh, a little wizard bugger over here. Go get him, Sila. I didn't even see him. <laughs> go, go. of weapons and stuff. Okay, and see, like, you're hurt. Why don't you heal yourself? Not impressed. There we go. At least you're in the green. Safe. Let's go into this house here. A journal about an experiment. Oh, this is a long one. We'll have to just read that later. <laughs> That's too much to read right now. Uh. Oh, there's a trap. The... Uh, here. Do that so we can get in there. 
because there's a chest. Stories told to us by spirits. Another long one. Okay. This one, different types of chaos, evil, but we don't know what's down there, so that's not helpful. Uh, let's do this bull's strength on her. you take this in large so you are gonna stand out to say the least <laughs> look at you he's a giant interesting let's hope that that helps and ember you go ahead and yes. Yes. and we are good to go These fighters were caught off guard. They died before they could even draw their weapons. Uh-oh. Something's in here. Somewhere. In the next room, perhaps. Clear the blockade. A dretch. Something tells me it's going to keep happening. Anybody have see invisible? Let's see if we have a see invisible spell. I have no idea what it would look like though. Scroll of see invisibility. There we go. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that. Here it comes. Oh. Right behind. Buddy. Oh, cool. All right, Shadow Demon. Um, Acid, fire, and cold is the only thing. Oh. 
my god. Getting him down, it's just taking forever. But he's on down. No, no. Son of a gun. None of my stuff is working on it. <laughs> We're going down. This isn't good. Oh, shoot. Dog. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. Jiminy's. Okay, um... That was so uncool. Um, I guess we're gonna rest again? I can't, yeah, we can rest here. Oh, light of the sword, Ayomade, forgive me my sins and do not leave me in the darkness. I am weak and undeserving of your grace, and still you grant it to me. And that means I still have something to hope for. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, door unblocked. Nice. So dark in here. I think I've got a light spell. Oh wow, look at all the stuff in here. Oh. 25%? Oh no. 50% chance. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um, I'm going to save and we're going to try it. Oh my god, she did it. <gasps> it's a new bow. It's a magical bow. Okay, got to check that out. For Lon. Because he uses a long bow. Wicked Longbow. Oh man, look at this. Whenever this plus two composite longbow confirms a critical hit, the target has to pass a wheel saving throw or suffer a curse. Nice. Definitely does more damage also, so that looks a little fancier. Take it. All right, anything else in here? I think so. All right, let's get out of here. Oh.
wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them! Just an audience, they don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all-powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. These answers are wrong. The correct answer is Isergal, a glaive made of red adamantine. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep, and a cow. It's in a rocks, as a matter of fact. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy! We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? B A F A. Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was going to be fun, but instead, there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? Grab her and tie her up and her entire entourage, too! The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. <laughs> okay. Maybe next time. Succeeded in saving.
What's that? The absence of an answer is an answer, too. What the heck? What is that dude? Okay, then. And you! <laughs> the result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great Encyclopedia Galarionica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. Alrighty. So, uh... Why are you, uh... asking all these questions? It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. Unfortunately, the experiment has proven that the opposing parties possess approximately equal faculties in this regard. Well, Canopus isn't safe right now. Why don't you... We're coming back to Defender's Heart. Why don't you come back with us? Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the oh. World Wound? To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. Uh, I, I, I really wasn't meaning that, but let's just get you out of here. Truth be told, <laughs> I have no money to pay you. Oh, but you will be it. aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. Well, if we join forces, you're going to have to follow my instructions. At least while you're with the group. Huh? What? Oh, yes, the dangers and these battles. Exactly. Of course, I will follow your orders. I place my life in your capable hands, so I can focus on the things that really matter. <laughs> well, Excellent. Think. You're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. Oh, dear. 27 crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Well, we've picked up another companion. Oh my gosh. She is a, a, another magic user. Interesting. Uh, here. Oh, 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 oh. Loot. I didn't think to loot him. That was my bad. Okay. Now we can go. Yes, we are heavily encumbered. First, we have to make this detour. Okay. And now, back to the end. We're going to leave the episode here. I am going to sell everything so we're not encumbered. And I'm going to look at what we got. And then next episode, I'll share with you anything interesting that we found. And then we're going to have to head on back. Um, I may look around the inn and see if there's any other quest to pick up so we don't have to uh, worry about missing out on anything. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and read those books that we found. Thank you for joining me today. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And hope to see you next time. Take care all. Bye-bye now.